here's what's coming up on the Cold Popcast. My gag reflex is pretty strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to say, okay. it'll take, it'll take, okay. take a lot. Okay. <laughs> Out there and it's recorded. Yeah. Does mm. it give you some type of, uh, you know, angst or worry that you married this person? People yeah. are showing me on their phone pictures of you sucking an ice pop you know, <laughs> or, or hanging out with Leonardo DiCaprio. Really? It's like now yeah. I'm at a point of embarrassment where I can't recover yeah. because there's literally nothing I can do. Or drink. What's popping, everybody? Welcome back to the Cold Podcast. I'm Zo. And I'm Steve. And today we're going to be covering the controversy Logan Paul has been a part of. He recently proposed to his fiance, uh, or his now fiance Nina Agdal. Um, but unfortunately, there's been a lot of incriminating photos being leaked about her by uh, MMA fighter Dylan Dennis. See? Yeah, so he's going to be fighting Dylan Dennis in an upcoming boxing match, and Dylan took it upon himself to just start putting out photos of his wife or his future wife, uh, Logan's future wife Nina in compromising positions some yes. would say <laughs> yes. uh, she's been around the world around yeah she <laughs> she's had a uh, pretty illustrious life uh within the entertainment industry and because of that she's gotten to meet and um mingle uh, mingle Entertain. yeah yes <laughs> she's gotten to meet and mingle with a lot of high uh you know high value individuals yeah so i don't really <laughs> 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 yeah so yep yeah. Man, it's it's rough out there. She's been passed around like like crazy. Yeah, and I know. Uh, she, trust me, she probably knows exactly how rough it is out there. But <laughs> <laughs> and she is not afraid to tell you that in yeah. video format, which you will see later on. Not at all. Yeah, no. She's been with some big names, man. She was with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, I think Nick Cannon, Nick you know, Cannon. snuck his way in there too. Yeah, she's. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. uh, this is her with some random exhibit Who's this A. Guy? Yeah. Who knows? Well. Yeah. You want to you want to let's Exhibit start by the beginning. You guys want to see like what the marriage proposal was first? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, how he did it. Exhibit C. Yeah, yeah. Go back to the Make thing. Sure. I think uh, one of the first links is the actual uh, proposal. Um, happiest day of his life. You can see it on their faces. You know. Yeah. Two people coming together to start a life together. Yeah, that is until <laughs> this happens. But yes. Yeah, we'll see. So you, you like to get married? Here? <laughs> what about engaged? I can't. Why? I can't. I'll tell you why in a second. You are the love of my life. You're the girl of my dreams. I never thought I'd find you. And now that I have, I never want to let you go. I'm sorry I'm being such a pussy. <laughs> Can you hit this button for me, please? Oh my god. Baby girl. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> After I, I actually uh, yeah, I beautiful. hadn't seen that before. Oh really? And that felt so fake. How beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a movie scene. Yeah, that she felt, is an actor. Oh, that felt extremely fake. Well, She's I mean, there are cameras everywhere, but <laughs> <laughs> he did like a whole like film build up thing, documenting it, so it's like to prove that it was real and stuff. But I mean. Like I said, he's an entertainer, so like to some extent, everything's gonna look kind of like staged because yeah. like sure are a lot of cameras for this candid moment. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get the B roll, get the B roll. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. but I, you know, I feel like normal people, the average American, looks at that and thinks how adorable young love. Yeah, and you know True. that it, it would have stayed that way, but unfortunately, Dylan Dennis had something to say on it. And, you know, Man, an expose on his fiance. Yeah. And, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> after his interjections, the Internet has, you know, gas has basically uh, went aflame in a litany of uh, expository type of um, uh, pictures. Yeah. And yes. videos. <laughs> <laughs> there's everything. Yeah, there's right. a lot. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these uh, these incriminating photos that have come up about his wife and the type of person she might be. Uh, no, these are all posted by Dylan Dennis, who is the yeah. rival in his fight. Yeah, his so this rival. may be like, this is like Floyd Mayweather level beef. Yeah. You know, like, this is extreme. <laughs> He's this doing a good really job. Good. He's going viral for this. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at this first one here. My girl is not an object. She is a real life human being. Not a girl who gets passed around to the dude with more ball percentage. Yeah, man, she gets a wreck. 
<laughs> My girl is not an object. My girl well, is not. Excellent. She's not an yeah. object. She's just a. Is <laughs> that Shane Dawson? <laughs> <laughs> she's so, just a girl with a history. Okay, not yeah. that bad. So listen, no one's saying anything bad about her. You know, she she's just had her past, and there's nothing wrong with that. But. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> listen, she's just hungry, okay? Right. <laughs> but is it a problem when her history is so, uh, you know, recorded? It's bu abundant, and it's out there, and it's recorded. Yeah. Does mm. it give you some type of, uh, you know, angst or worry that you married this person? Yeah. Yeah. I would call off the marriage if it was me, honestly. If, yeah. It, cause, but Especially, then again, at the yeah. same time, you have to assume – that he probably knows her history and he mm -hmm. was okay with it when he proposed. Right. And then also it's like he's Logan Paul, so he's the ultimate douche. Right. And <laughs> being the ultimate douche, it's like, of course you're going to have a, a, for lack of a better term, a, a slut wife. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I, I would say my, my take on it is, cause, you know, because I know I'm not going to be the person to sit here and tell anyone, uh, you know, who they should like and what they want to do. But, um, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm not living at that level. I don't know the type of women he deals with. You know, we're, it, it's like people live different realities. So to speculate and say what he should or shouldn't do from my perspective of reality, uh, you know, I don't think that would be genuine. But what I can say is um, men in general, I think, need to act more, need to have more of how women attack, like, marriage and stuff like that. Like, we need to be more like that. I think a lot of times men um, will kind of, like, fall in love with a girl's service level and then you'll push for marriage, you know, just off the idea of either this is why I know I feel like I have to do or um, something that's not really, uh, you know, or just like very surface level love mm -hmm. without really knowing the type of person you're dealing with. And I think in this situation, it's kind of reflective of um, he I don't think I think you have to be smart when you decide when to marry. It can't just be based on love. You have to really think about um does, how is this person going to affect my life? You right, know, whether right. it's like, is this person going to embarrass me? And even if you like them a lot, you can really like someone, but realize they're not, you know, they're not the type of person you should marry. They're not good stock. Exactly. <laughs> because once that stock. person is tied to you, you're kind of tied to everything they represent, everything they've been. Their past is now affiliated with yours. And a lot True. of times, depending on the type of person you are and what you, and the type of image you have, that's not always going to be advantageous or beneficial. So I think if I was to say what Logan Paul should do, I would say really decide if this person, you know, you're deciding to marry is kind of worth what uh, baggage she's going to be attached to, because that is going to be a part of your life, too. And you can really like someone, like I said, but that doesn't necessarily mean that marriage is going to be the best option. And right now, I think this whole backlash is indicative of the fact that a woman's past or you know what she's associated with can't come back to embarrass you as a man yeah and like i said when women go into marriages they think that too you know they go into it with the idea of they can really like a guy but he might not be financially stable he might not um he might have other issues that prevent him from being a man that she would want to tie herself to true so you know if they think like that i think it's incumbent that men should think like that as well and it's all yeah. and in, in, in my belief i think it's like men aren't really looking for a woman that's financially stable. Like, they're right. not looking for a woman. They're looking for a woman that's attractive mm -hmm. and that won't embarrass them. Kind of exactly. Like, that's like we want a woman that's going to, like, be someone that we can rely on uh, for our for the needs that we have that we need a woman for. But it's not like, oh, I need a woman to pay the bills. Yeah. But it's like, if I go out in public and people are showing me on their phone pictures of you sucking an ice pop you know, <laughs> or, or hanging out with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's like now yeah. I'm at a point of embarrassment where I can't recover because yeah. there's literally nothing I can do. Or drinking beer on your knees held by another, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, it, come on. No, and I think that's the thing. Like, I feel like as a whole, like, men don't tend to ask for the same amount that women do. But because of that, the things we do ask for holds a lot of weight. And one of those things is don't embarrass me. Yeah. So if a woman, right. if you know that you're going to be you know, a woman, you know, who she is, what her past is, what people think about her, will come back to inevitably embarrass you and you're going to be held accountable for what she did. Right. You know, th that's a real thing to take into consideration. Yeah, because her past reputation is now your present reputation. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Happened to say, Will Smith. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it literally happened to him. Oh, poor Will Smith. I would Smith. say, like, poor you Will. know, a woman's choice matters, right? Mm -hmm. that, that choice reflects her character. And her history reflects, you know, what she values in a man and, you know, how she values herself. So when you see things like this, you, you really just have to question what she's about, what she likes, and if she will, you know, try to do this behavior in the future. Right. Is she someone that wants to uh, be 
uh, polygamous or stuff like that? Is something you have to worry about? Who knows? But yeah, I yeah. think y'all should see this next clip. Yeah, let's because, take a couple uh, look at some more videos some more of those that posts by Dylan. Dylan had to share with us. This is a dangerous history to worry about, boys. <laughs> take a look. <laughs> and then to post it, like just to post it online, she's like, like openly a five second yeah. for sucking out a popsicle. <laughs> the look on that man. guy's face, he's like, what the? Fuck? She's like, oh man, what am I doing? She's just, <laughs> oh, she, what am I she, doing? <laughs> she very well might be a succubus. Is she could be. Uh, she might actually be a succubus. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But that's just a little, you know, personal recording. Yeah. But this next one is actually on a publicly televised te uh, television show. So all right. Are there any foods that make either of you gag? Um, my gag reflex is pretty strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to say, it, okay. it'll take, it'll take, it'll okay. take a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, you went All further. Right. Okay. <laughs> we're talking about food. I don't even know where we're at. Right <laughs> what are you talking okay. about? This category right here. <laughs> you know what's wow, funny? Uh, on Impulsive, they had a, a thing where he brought her on and talked to her, and like after the proposal, and then you know she, she talked about like one of the things that got brought up that people were really like hanging on to. They're like, did like she basically said like, and you know I like she made him wait for sex, oh like with God. all this yeah, out here. She that. like apparently she was like there. I wish we could have the clip, um, but you know she was basically saying like. He was like, yeah, you know, we've been together and, you know, there's there were a couple of territories we haven't tread yet. And she's like, yeah, I made him wait. You know, and he's like, and for quite a while. And, <laughs> and I'm just and then even the co-host will look at that Paul like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> Logan, you, you sure about this man? <laughs> <laughs> like well, you can see it on his face. It's just it's just ironic. <laughs> yeah. No, he's meanwhile, she's just. He's getting clown out here yeah. advertising her guac guac nine thousand skills. <laughs> <laughs> what's, uh, we, what's this one? I wanna, I, yeah, what I we got here? I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 what's the weirdest place you've had sex? Wow, she just and that I mean, she is just. Uh, some people are into this though. I think I was having a conversation <laughs> with you about this the other day, where it's like some people like just the. You're into this one. No, 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 no. Those I don't think. Well, are you into this? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, what we were talking about was basically like some people they they just like the idea of a nasty woman. They like do. It, it turns them on to know like, oh, she's just disgusting. Mm. No, a hundred percent. Like I've I a hundred percent realize I'm the outlier because I will publicly say that I think people like Sukiana and Sexy Red are disgusting. Yeah. But I also <laughs> know that there's a lot of people in my community that will absolutely jump at the opportunity to even sniff their feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like, and that's like, for some of them, that's like what they actually want. Like, yeah, it's not like that's like, oh, peak. this is all I can get. That's like, that's like the peak. Yeah, that's like them. actually what they want. Like they're pursuing that, like yeah. that, and so like, yeah. I mean, this behavior is not what I'm into, but I know that there's most guys probably are, or there's a substantial amount of people that like won't have an issue with it. I wouldn't be surprised if Logan Paul and uh, what's her name, N Nina. Oh, uh, oh yeah, Nina Agdo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if they ended up having like a a um like an Adam Twenty Two and Lena the Plug style relationship. Ooh. Not where they're doing pornography, mm. but where they just have an open relationship at some point. I think that's probably going to happen because there's no way he's going to be able to tie this type of woman down. No, I could definitely see that. Um, and I, I can like, yeah, no, I I could definitely see. I don't know if it's going to be exactly like Adam Twenty Two to where it's like now they want to do porn. Well, uh, no, they're not going to do porn. I'm just saying, like, 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 like there's going to have like an open thing. I, don't oh, know, I yeah. didn't have to use them as a reference, I guess, but like, they're just oh, okay. other famous people. No, I, yeah, I can see them like going open, and I, I could kind of see it being like almost comical. Like, I can see Logan being the one to publicly say, like, you know, they together they just decided to go open, yeah. you know, and him looking very like <laughs> much like he doesn't want to be on TV saying this. Yeah, what I always realize with like those open relationship situations is, is like, it feels like. No, well, maybe it's not always like because sometimes I'm sure both parties are like, yeah, I want an open relationship. Yeah. But I think for most men, and this may be just an assumption, but for most men, they don't want to share their wife. Yeah. No, I think that's a hundred percent true. I, I think, and I think in most cases, I think it tends to be the woman that wants it open. Yeah. Um, but there are cases, like I said, where a guy wants it open too. But I think in a, um, most of the time, even when a guy says that, it, they don't anticipate the fact of like having they, they don't like like preemptively think about like the fact that they're going to share their woman until it happens right and i think that idea makes a lot of men uncomfortable because most guys really don't want to do that i think it like 
it strikes like a primal nerve. Yeah, and it just slowly deteriorates the relationship. Like, yeah. they, they may force themselves to believe, like, oh, well, you know, I'm getting to sleep with other girls, so mm-hmm. this is good. But then it's like your wife is just being obliterated by other men. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's ever, it's, I, I, I really think it's like rarely like a mutual decision. Like a lot of times when open relationships happen, it's because one person wants it and the other one reluctantly agrees. Mm-hmm. But it's like a lot of times it's very rare that both parties agree because in that case they wouldn't have gotten a relationship. Right. Yeah, they're just swingers. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Open married. for thee, not for me. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Speaking of open, can you pull up that Kermit the Frog image just so the audience can see it? Kermit the Frog image. <laughs> 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 what image is that? Oh, oh. Yeah. I know what you're referencing. Well, I mean, it's just like, so this is like a, a this is a image of um, of Nina on a, just, a, <laughs> just a representation of her. Uh, yeah. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, we found a candid, a candid photo of. Oh her, God, so. not Kermit! Not, not Kermit. <laughs> That's Logan Paul's wife. Oh my God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah. Huh. I mean, what though? That's crazy. Yeah, She's like publicly Jesus for this. Yeah. yeah. I- you know, the, there's a part of me that's like, I don't want to just sit here and shame her either. Because I'm like, hey, let her do what she wants. That's true. Um, but like I said, a, as a person that's advocating uh, like advice from this or what you can learn is that, like I said, as a guy, recognize that this type of stuff will always be seen as controversial. And a girl that, like I said, promotes herself like this, you can like her. It doesn't make her a bad person, but it will be something that will reflect on you that and history people will be brought up yeah and people, people will bring up their history against you as well like you will you will you will suffer for that have some tough skin I, because get ready I, mm-hmm. I sort of disagree like i don't disagree with what you're saying but i disagree with the idea that we shouldn't shame her mm. not because i think that she's <laughs> she's literally shameless like she yeah. has no shame True. so if the shame comes from an outside party i think it's fair because okay. she, she doesn't she doesn't care that we're shaming her. Right. But I think like as a group of men, it's sort of like, you know, as male content creators, it's sort of our responsibility to say like exactly what you're saying. Like, you know, it's not right. it's not appropriate for most women to be in a situation where um where they just sort of are outwardly sexual at, all the time, I guess. Mm. And I haven't seen her in her daily life. Maybe I don't know all the ins and outs, but right. there's too much of her being with men on the internet. And right. she's not doing pornography. <laughs> Fortunately, she's not doing pornography, but I don't know. I just think it's like, you know, it is a shameful situation. So it's like you call out, you call you call it when you see it. Right. And, and you know what? I get what you're saying 100% because I know like if, if you have morals or ethics built into a society and you want to enforce that, you have to shame what is bad behavior. Yeah. Um, the only reason why it's like, this is one of those situations where I'm like, you, even if it's like moral, like what you're trying to push, it's like never in the grand scheme of, uh, of society ever going to be seen as like, um, so like you, you'll never win this type of fight is because I think the only time enforcing morality is when your actions directly hurt someone else, because then you have an objective right to say like, you should stop doing this because you're hurting someone else or like, you know, you're actually hurting well, yourself. Well, it's hurting Logan right now. It is hurting Logan, you know, but like <laughs> it said, it, but at the end of the day, I'm like, I could say objectively say like, I think this is bad behavior and not something I would teach or advise someone else to do, but I could still say they're not hurting anyone. So they still have that right to do it. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I can, I, my, my grounding is, do what you want, but I would never advocate for this, you know, and I will personally see it as something I wouldn't want people to do. But, you know, I can't necessarily say and think that, you know, me shaming you for it or saying that you shouldn't do it is like, um, you know, going to hold any weight in pe- terms in, in people's opinion on it. You know, I feel I like I said, you're not hurting anyone technically. So it's like, all right, you can do what you want. And that's free. That's freedom. But like I said, I wouldn't advocate for it. And like I said, unless she's hurting someone, that's where I'm like, okay, I think it's fair to actively shame or, or like, you know, try to defer an action. Right. That That's where, like, my thing is. But, no, I, I agree from a morality standpoint. I think we're on the same page. I just think it's hard to shame someone and necessarily be right in the eyes of society because, you know, it, that's kind of like a freedom people have. Like, you can do what you want. Yeah. True. I'll just say I can't wait to see this fight between Logan Paul and. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah, that doozy. is gonna be something. <laughs> if he loses, it's gonna be bad. Oh man, if yeah. Logan loses, <laughs> then his whole marriage is going to just dissolve. I <laughs> will say this: this is a good promotional tactic because I think if anything, people because I mean this man, he he is taking low He's, shots like this yeah. is a low blow. Him he is dirty. He did this is like yeah. this is like peak Conor McGregor level beef. Yeah, straight <laughs> up. <laughs> but all right, guys, uh, we should probably close this one out. Um,
thanks for watching. You can find the Cold Popcast on all platforms. We're on Apple. We're on Spotify, uh, YouTube, everywhere you can find video or audio content. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, make sure you check us out on Patreon as well, where you can find uh, exclusive content like the My Black Friends podcast. Uh, we do new episodes every now and then, but uh, right now we're focusing on the Cold Popcast. But you can get the entire backlog, 80 episodes of hilarity, uh, just for $5 a month. Um, thanks for watching, and we got to pop out of here. All right. Peace.